Alex Marvez interviews Hangman Page. What, he asks, is the status of your friendship with the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega? He says, well, Nick and Matt and I have been friends for a long time. I don't know if Kenny and I were ever really friends, but after everything we've been through, we're family, and family sits together. The Blackpool Combat Club, they took, they try to take my eye, they try to take Matt's arm, they try to take Nick's shoulder, but they took Don Callis away from Kenny. And Sunday, they'll pay for that, they'll pay the price in blood. We have a contract signing between Adam Cole and Chris Jericho. Uh, the highlight of the first half of this contract signing, I don't mean this is a knock on anyone, but Chris Jericho is out there. In Before a- you go on, All right. you just blew through that Hangman Page promo. Okay. Do you realize that Hangman Page and the Young Bucks split in this uh, this long love story like two years ago? And it has been a two-year build to that big moment last week where they reunited after all those years. And the follow-up on this show was he did a 30-second promo that you blew through to get to the next segment. Uh, exactly right. Bro. Bro. B-R-O. With a capital B. I realize that Kenny Omega was not there. So, you know, he wasn't around. And they, they had something they wanted to do with the Young Bucks at the end of the show. But, like, dude. This Sammy Bloodline storyline, how long were people waiting for Sammy to finally turn on Roman Reigns? Forever. What was it, like uh, six months, seven months, whatever? Mm -hmm. So he finally turns on the guy. Place just loses their shit, which they did, by the way, last week when Hangman reunited with the Young Bucks. And I'm pretty sure it was like it was the pay-per-view, right? It was was, was uh, Royal Rumble. Yeah. Okay, so the the post-Royal Rumble Raw. Dude, if that angle would have occurred, and on the post-Royal Rumble Raw, they just did everything else, and an hour and 20 minutes into the show, there was a 30-second promo with Sami Zayn about Roman Reigns. People would have been furious, and it never would have happened. So I, uh, you know... This was a massive swing and a miss to me. I mean, that should have been the biggest angle that you booked in, like, a year. The reuniting of the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, and Hangman Page. And on the very next show, he does a 30-second promo in the back. I was flabbergasted. And I'm more flabbergasted the more I think about it. This would have been a good spot for a video recap package instead. Or, dude, the show should have opened with all, all of them in the ring together. That would have helped, too. Yeah. What's going on with old Kenny and Callis? And we got a big match this weekend. And we're finally back together again. We're the, we're on the... Like, that's the opening segment of this show. Nope. It was a 30-second promo in the back. I couldn't believe it. Then Shivani is in the ring for a contract signing with Adam Cole and Chris Jericho. Now... As I began to say, I this is not a knock against anyone involved in this segment, but the highlight of this... Actually, in in times the highlight of the entire thing, Chris Jericho was out there not only in spiked jacket, but spiked pants as well. I don't know why I found that so entertaining, but he had spiked pants on. So Cole signs the uh, uh, unsanctioned match, I believe is the term they're using. Signs immediately, then talks and threatens uh, threatens Jericho. I'm going to break both your legs. I'm going to shatter your jaw. Break your hands. Sign the paper, bitch. And Jericho, Jericho's listening to this whole thing. It was a long, much longer rant than I summarized there. But Jericho is listening in, and he's, he's surprised and a little offended at all these mean things Adam Cole is saying to him. He declares he is no bitch. He's not from Las Vegas. He says, you are remembering the Britt Baker deal wrong. Here's how it really went down. And he shows the video again to antagonize Adam Cole. Roderick Strong is there to hold Cole back, stop him from getting physical right now. As he's doing this, the Jericho Appreciation Society is pantomiming the kendo stick beating, and uh, like it's all a big joke. Complete assholes, proper assholes, all of them. It's great stuff. Jericho gives Cole one last chance to hit him, but I guess he loses the match if that happens because Cole won't do it. Jericho says, You're a coward. That proves it. 
And once again, you're outsmarted. He signs the contract. No rules? Well, look around. There's five of us and two of you. Cole says, that's true. There is only two of us. So I called someone who lives in Las Vegas. I called someone I idolized growing up. And he's crazier than all five of you. He's homicidal. He's suicidal. And at that point, Taz goes, oh, no. <laughs> I was dying when Taz was marking out. So, well, I mean, yeah. More, more, panicking, maybe a better term. Taz is still afraid of Sabu. Or he's afraid of the fight he would get from Sabu. He is genocidal. He is Sabu. Out comes Sabu in his suit with a turban. He's Sabu. Jericho's gobsmacked. He's not expecting this. And why would you? And uh, eventually Sabu starts throwing chairs at people. And the Jericho Appreciation Society backs off. So there you go. It is an, in in an interesting twist. And the match officially is Adam Cole versus Chris, versus Chris Jericho unsanctioned with Sabu in Adam Cole's corner. You know, uh, it was, what is it, May 25th? It was uh, right around WrestleMania weekend, uh, first week of April, that uh, Sabu had that, whatever the medical emergency was. So that's uh, less than two months ago. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, whatever it was, I mean, he looked in good shape last night. And he came out, he didn't, like, do any real spots other than throwing a chair. But, I mean, he moved fine, got in the ring fine. And, and uh, I got an email from a guy that Jericho Cruz apparently just wrapped up. Right. And uh, and he uh, he was on the cruise, and there were wrestling matches, obviously. And he said that he was uh, he was watching the matches, and then uh, all of a sudden he uh, he bumped into this guy that he thought was cosplaying Sabu, but it was actually Sabu. Sure. And so he said Sabu sat down next to him, and they watched the matches, and like every now and then, uh, you know, Sabu would lean over and go, what's the story with these guys? And he would tell Sabu the story, and then Sabu would go, huh? And he'd keep watching. And, uh, and Sabu would lean over and go, uh, who, who's this guy here? What's his deal? And the guy would say, ah, you know, that's so-and-so and whatever. Sabu would go, hmm. And so he watched it. And, uh, you know, he watched the show with Sabu. And he said, uh, you know, Sabu looked like he was having a good time, but he, he sure looked like he wished he could wrestle. Sure. So uh, I would presume that uh, him being on the cruise was what gave Jericho the idea to have him be the, uh, they called him the, uh, like he'd be in Adam Cole's corner yeah, or something. Yeah, he doesn't have a title. It's not a fucking corner. This is an unsanctioned match. No yeah. one's going to stand idly in the corner. They're not there with a spit He's bucket. just there no. with a chair to take out these other dingbats when they try to interfere. This plaque. I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, Bischoff. Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented to F4W that. Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey! out there. Uh oh. Hey! What are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey, oh. I'm taking over the show! Oh no. Dom! Oreo. Hit that music, brother! Ah, oh, the hell with it. You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. Oh, man. Hey, no. hey. I love you guys! I love you! When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale! If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.